Now let's talk about method chaining. I have a class here. It's called human. It has two properties, name and age. Then I have three public methods. The first one gets the name and update the property. The second one gets the age and update the property. And the last one will return, hello, my name is this and I am this years old. I create a new instance. Then I will set the name to Amir and set the age to 28. Then I say echo Amir introduce, which would say, hello, my name is Amir and I am 28 years old. Now, as you can see, when we want to call set name and set age methods, we should call them from our object. It's okay, but I want to achieve something like this. I want to make it Amir set name and and instead of using the object again i want to chain the methods and call the next method without any problem so i want to say set age 28 i want to be able to write something like this to be able to chain the methods but at the moment if i run the code i will get an error set age and null what what should we do? The other one works perfectly fine. Let me run that. And as you can see, it says, hello, my name is Amir and I am 28 years old. No problem. So in order to do something like this, what should we do? It's very easy. At the end of the methods that are going to be chained, return the object itself. What do I mean by that? Do you remember? We said this refers to the object itself. So let's return this easily. Return this. And for set name, I can do the same thing. Return this. Let me change return. That's it. Now I can simply chain all my methods. I can say set name, set age, and because both of them are returning the object itself I can also bring introduce at the end and in one line I can achieve the whole thing hello my name is Amir and I am 28 years old without any problem the first method will change the name the second method will change the age and the last one will return this string and then we echo that and notice I don't want to chain introduce that's why i didn't return the object instead i returned the message itself now the interesting thing is that when you chain the methods like this the order of the methods that return the object doesn't matter unless your functions depend on each other internally for example i could here simply set the age first and then the name and it would still work no problem but if I had some dependent function internally, then it would be a problem. For example, if my, uh, I don't know, my age was somehow dependent on the name. So if there was no name, I couldn't set the age. Then I had to call set name first. But now because there is no dependency between the methods, I can easily change their order. So set name, set age or set age, set name. And then I will call introduce. It's super clean and super easy. You could also have them in different lines so it would be even more readable. It's super easy and very powerful. Now let's go to the next topic.